Thank you, Bureau. This is the Samaritan Ministries, Food for the Body, Hope for the Soul. And I'm Joseph Anicelli. I was here earlier today because I wanted to play the piano for the staff volunteers as they're preparing the food and the guests when they're here enjoying the food. And I was here last week to play, so I thought I would come again this week. But I was met at this door by one of the rudest people named William. And see this sign here? I was sitting here at this table just trying to rest with other people sitting here, including the man who got here on a bicycle. And William said he would go get Robert in the kitchen, who I spoke with last week. He was the chef, but he brought out Barbara because Robert's not here. And they made a scuffle and a fuss and told all of these people they had to leave. They could not sit here because they weren't open yet. But it says right here that they're open from 1030 to 1 p.m., so we should have been able to stand here or sit here and put our trash in the trash cans and keep our cigarette butts in the cigarette butt thing and have a place to sit after going through all the hardship to get here. But they said there's a sign over there with different hours. And I can't see that sign from here. But I do see William. Yeah. How are you ladies today? Hi, how are you doing? Loving it. You know what time is it? Okay. So on this sign, it says the soup kitchen is open from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So they actually run the people off of that area for being here too early for this area, but you can't see the sign from this area to that area. See, look, if you're standing here reading this, you can't see that one. And if you're over there, you can't see this one or that one because there's this wall here that blocks your view. Now, I thought it was strange that Barbara came out of here and rushed me off telling me that she was being a Christian. And I said, well, in the Bible, it says, if I'm not received in the name of Christ, I need to dust my foot off, wash my feet, and leave that place where I have not been welcomed. And that's just what I did. And I'm not coming back here till I get a Christian apology. I practice forgiveness, and of course I've forgiven her, her momentary lapse of grace. But she made it worse for herself by coming up against the wrong person. Do I look like Cat Williams? No. Alright, so now we gotta hit stop, and then we gotta play.